Oh, you're back. How was your run? Oh, oh please. Please. Oh, I need I need What? Please. Uh, uh. Okay. Weirdo. Oh, I know what you wanted now. It was mean cards! Wild Boar of the Sea. Deploy melee. Damage all damaged units by one. Then damage all enemy units by one. So, you have a little bit of a board wipe. You know, you got a lot of damaged cards, and you got some non-damaged cards. Then the damaged cards get damaged by two, and the non-damaged cards get damaged by one. Which is pretty good against some sort of like Swarm Synergies decks, which do exist nowadays with Squirtle being back to its sort of elven glory. I mean, Squirtle was never terrible, but now it's got the little Vanadane Simlas combo, which spawns a bunch of threes, which if we are able to deal with those, we have a very fun little time. And yeah, but this card used to be auto-included in Skellige a long time ago, but now it's kind of fallen out of favor since unit and board presence isn't in every deck. Like, back then, every deck used to have at least, like, eight units, and they wouldn't have enough control to deal with all the damage stuff, and not every deck would be as boost-heavy as they are these days, because there's a lot, lots more boosted units on the opponent's side of the field than there used to be. So, this card definitely has fallen out of favor, but it still has huge potential in a lot of situations, and especially in a long round uh, where you can just you know, wipe the opponent's board if you wanted to. And yeah, this card is kind of scary, but it does require a lot of setup. And whether the payoff is good enough, we're going to have to find out. Now, I'm playing a Onslaught list. Now, the reason I'm playing Onslaught is simply because it gives armor to some cards, such as Covenant of Steel, Crack on Crate, which are just Heatwave baits for Dagger 2 Blade. So we want to play some Dagger, Wild Bird of the Sea, Morkvark action. You guys know I love this combo. I love these three cards put together in decks because they just make me happy. I'm also playing one Offering to the Sea. I was thinking of playing Stamelford's Tremors, but I think Offering to the Sea is a little bit of a better alternative that we have, and... Yeah, it sets up the wild board quite nicely, along with all the ships that we have, some little damage pings, such as the little Hoffer. We got a Whale Harpooner as well, sort of play around, I don't know, the row stacking or like bunch of units and stuff. We got Terror of the Sea, obviously, to synergize with the Onslaught Leader ability. And then we obviously have the auto-include Fakusia, which every Skellige deck needs to be playing because it is just too good not to play. I mean, this card kind of ruined Skellige for me. Like, Skellige was already a really boring faction, but every deck at some point played just discard package, and every deck has to play Fakusia. There's no way around it, which makes the card so boring, but, like, you will see this in every deck for Skellige. Meme deck or not, this card is just too good not to be playing. And yeah, that's pretty much the idea of the deck. It's, it's just complain about Fukusia. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's the Mr. Hobbler one way. All right, we're facing imprisonment. Damn it! I was thinking of changing my stratagem to Crystal Skull, but then I was like, nah, kind of useless. Ah, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, that is actually quite annoying. Okay, we got more. We got we got Wild Boar of the Sea. Wild Boar of the Sea isn't even that bad in round one, to be honest. All right, so we'll just open with this. See what he does. Maybe he uses leader, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he has six locks in his deck. An efficient amount of locks, that is. There's one lock. The armor eats it, which is nice. What is Mr. Opponent going to play, though? I don't have that many pirates in my deck as well, which is a bit sad. So I might actually want to give this armor. Ah, no, I want to play this as early as possible. Goes Joust. Interesting. I'll just play my second one. Ha ha! Rude. This guy is truly rude. Oh, this actually works that way. I didn't know that. I like to set up the Hoffer to set up my Ancrate. Is this guy just a no unit friend? So far, it seems this way. He has to play Blightmakers at some point. Like, come on. Like, I know you want to play the Blightmaker, dude. Just play it. Just play the Blightmaker. 
I know you want to. I'm guessing this is... Oh, no, what? Interesting. Very interesting. So we just do this here, right? That's pretty good. Okay. Interesting. I mean, I'm not gonna heat wave this, right? I mean, it depends on how big it goes here. I could Mork Varg. He wants to stay ahead of me here. I think that's the idea. I get four points here. That's annoying. Um, I, I, I'll make my Mork Varg a lot worse if I do this now. The question is, do I want to commit Mork Varg here already? I'm not sure, actually. I don't think I do want to commit more Kvark. Oops. Wait, that actually stays ahead. That's so annoying. That's really annoying. That was a... T oh my god, I just played the two. Uh, that's not that great. I'm guessing that's Coop. I don't know what, he's, what this guy's even playing, honestly. I think I just go more Quark now. I mean, I have Fukusia to resurrect him anyway, so I don't think that's that much of a problem. Plus, I'm giving my my dude some some nice armor here as well. It should be. I mean, we're gonna like he shouldn't be able to do this in one. I think. I hope not. But this guy has played two units, which means my Wild Bro the Sea would have been maximum eight points. But this guy's not even damaged, so yeah. <laughs> Wild Bar of the Sea. I mean, this thing tends to actually swarm a bit with their Blight Makers, but I think this guy drew really, really awkward here. Otherwise, this, these these lines are really weird from him. So, yeah, I, I think he drew a bit weird. Like the, the Joust. Oh, he passes. Okay, that's actually pretty good for me. The only I only committed like one good card, and I can resurrect a set card anyway. So I think we just go for the long round here. Even if it's Nilfgaard, we have to kind of just like chill. Like we got, we got all the cards. We got all the cards. Look at this. We got all the cards. We're fine. We're fine, guys. Trust me. We're fine. We are totally fine. We are super fine. Nothing to worry about. We also got Crack into the Terror of Seas. So I think I want to actually open Crack instead of Defender. Because he invos the croc, right? But I don't care about- wait, what did he just do? No, he took my Morkvarg! That son of a gun took my Morkvarg. He has Morkvarg now. That is so rude! <laughs> How is that so rude? This guy is super rude. Okay, um, do I like Pelar here? Nah. Not really. Decrease my Fakusia. So what are we missing here? We're missing a little bit of an offering here. Um, yeah, I guess this card's not really that great. So we want to obviously go for a crack here. It's pretty obvious what we're going to give armor to. The boat, the boat, and the dude. Okay. Ah, I see. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Oh, that's so annoying. Okay, so he's just spamming Slave Hunters. That's actually kind of scary. That is actually kind of scary. Because they're going to boost quite hard. Yeah, I think I need to... Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I should have probably... I should have actually killed the Illusionist here. Alright. But we, we still have some lines here. There's the lock. Okay. So what do I want to resurrect here? Do I want to resurrect a boat with my Fukusia? Ouch. That's a problem. Resurrecting boat actually kind of makes sense. Can I kill two at once here? I actually can. I think I need to actually kill both of these guys. Yeah, I think this is correct. Because now this deals with the next one. Greatsword isn't an issue, like, it, it's not really that much of an issue. It just gives us a bigger Terror of the Seas. 
Yeah. Okay, that's good. Because we can just kill this very easily now. I mean, if he's just an illusionist spam deck, then we have to Fukusia this turn, right? Yeah, we just have to... We just Fukusia this turn. Is he gonna roast? Yeah, he's gonna roast stack. That's good for me. Roast stacking very mucho grande. Good. Alright, Fukusia. And... Yeah, as I said, I want to resurrect the Ancrate Longship. I don't care about the Great Swords. The Great Swords are, like... They're not really that much of a concern for me. What's more of a concern is the fact that he might have Invo. And I know he has Morkvark as well, so... Oh god, that's a lot. Okay, maybe I should have resurrected the Great Okay, guys, maybe I should have resurrected the Great Swords. Come to think of it, that might have been the better idea. Nah, but we're swinging, guys. We're swinging hard here. We're swinging super hard here. So there's... Oh, dude, does he have everything, man? Does he actually have everything here? That would be really annoying. God, that would be super duper annoying. <laughs> oh my god, he just has like a bunch of great sword spam, dude. There's the blight makers. That's good for me. Oh, that the fact that it hit that is a bit annoying though. Okay, maybe I should have. Okay, I'll, I'll think I'll heat wave here. See what he does. And I think this actually swings for enough points now. Genuinely. Okay, that's good. So last card, Morkvark, we literally know that, so... What's he gonna do? What, what is this Morkvark gonna do here? Nothing! I tell you, nothing I tell you. This Morkvark ain't doing nothing. Alright, let's see the swing, actually. This is actually quite a massive swing, so... 17 armor on the... That's pretty funny. Whee! Whee! Look at that. Didn't matter. Nothing matters, dude. As long as this guy lives, we are Gucci. Yeah, this is the beauty of uh, Dagger and a bunch of gold cards that the opponent needs to answer. <laughs> I should have definitely resurrected the, the great sword there. Heat wave on the lock. Yeah, that's all I needed. Maybe you also had Invo. Okay. Ooh, some Syndicato. They got. Nowadays, they actually play some units, so that's not terrible. Plus, they, they do boost quite hard, so let's just see what we can do here. Hmm, not sure about this. This is nice against the Tax Collector, this is nice against Boat. I don't sh I don't think they play Boat anymore, though, so not entirely sure how that works these days. So he's playing Tactical Advantage. Interesting. Alright. Oh yeah, they also swarm nowadays as well, I just realized. They do swarm quite hard. Do you have the answer to this, sir? He does not. That's pretty good. So we're gonna set up the Harfruz with the Greatsword. Which is nice. There's a bit of Blindheim action. This is a good kill target actually, come to think of it. Maybe I like playing reactive here, honestly. Okay, no reactive play. Oh, Scorch! Where's my Scorch when I need it? Where is the Scorch when you need it? Huh? Hmm. How much does this deck boost, actually? I don't think it boosts that much. Ooh, that's a big boy. I don't like this guy. Um, He creates a lot of value. But I think for the moment I just have to chill. Instead of my own dude. Yeah, he's gonna transform this. This is a pretty good point. Okay, he does that as well. Alright. <clears throat> okay, that's a bit annoying. Ah, I'll probably just kill this guy. The Blimeheim did quite a bit here this round. Alright, 11 points. Oh, we got 11 points. Oh! I guess we don't have 11 points. Alright, uh... This deals... 5. 
Yeah, I guess we have to do this. More Krogan round one again. And I guess we also hit you. Yeah, sure. I'll take a seven armor wild boar of the sea. Would have been nice to maybe have also the terror in our hand here. And as I said, I kind of just want the long round here anyway. This was a very cheap round for him though, which is a bit of a problem. Quite annoying to say the least. Okay, Squirrel. He doesn't play boat, evidently, so Squirrel's useless. And I think I liked the long round last game. I'll, I'll take the long round again this game. Maybe this was maybe this might be a mistake, but because we don't really have all the tools just yet, but we'll get. Well, we'll just try and draw the tools. We don't run discard package because discard package is boring. And I'll just pass here. Go for a ten card round three. I mean, even if he kills one dagger. Uh, he might not necessarily be able to kill the other one. Okay, this is annoying because Burzodi Bro now deals four damage. Is this this is the like I think this is the most mid range deck you can build in Gwent. This oh that's nice. Fukusia is nice. Um, do I like the boat more or do I like I kind of want to keep I need one of these two or like Heat Wave maybe even. I want I have to I have to get a gold here. Otherwise, it's a bit too awkward. I like I like keeping the boat since it synergizes with crack. Okay, that's not good. So we're missing three major cards, but we don't play discard package, so we can't really complain, can we now? So I think I go. Do I want to go covenant or crack? Hmm. Crack gives me armor on this. And this and this, uh, but Covenant is a defender. I think I actually want to play it a little bit. No, but he has he has all he has so many answers. He has Junior. He has Morels. God, I needed more Elder Bears here. I really did need more Elder Bears. I have to make my decision now. I think I'll go for Crack, because he gives me value. I probably should have played him in the back row. And actually, no, it doesn't really make a difference, I think. And the thing is, we can also always resurrect Dagger, which is pretty important. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. Hmm. This is quite an awkward spot now. Hmm. I mean, if I just do this, what do you lose? Is there? There's not a lot that punishes this, is there? I mean, Junior does, but how does he do with this then? Yeah, this is where Defender would be so nice, dude. Defender would be very nice. Okay, he does that. I think I do... I think I... Yeah, I, I want to kill this Borzodi, for sure. I mean, in the end of the day, we could also, like, win on the Wild Boar effect. And last, say, Fukusia into Morkvark is always good as well. Because now it is literally just about... Oh, that's annoying, though. Now the question is, do I want to go Morkvark? I think I do want to go Morkvark Fukusia. I think I set up the dagger now, actually. Yeah, I think I, I think I actually have to do that this way, so that I can either go Morkvark Fukusia or Dagger Fukusia. Six points. What do you got, buddy? Show me, show me the junior. Show me the junior. So this is 8 damage already. That's actually very important. There's Junior. Okay. I mean, at this point... Do I actually care? Like, genuinely, do I actually care? I have a very nice setup here with everything, basically. I mean... <laughs> Okay, so what we have to kind of assume what his last cards here is. He fished for Horson Jr. Oh, dude, I want to kind of greet this. 
Yeah, let's greet it, baby. Focusia into the dagger. <laughs> we greet this. We greet this so hard, man. We are greeting, baby. We are greeting today. Because, like, spenders, we can kill with the terror, right? Alright, last, last question. Can you answer it? This deals five now. This is pretty good. Okay. Oh, no. But he can't do anything. Oh, but he can use leader. Wait. He didn't use leader. He didn't use leader, guys. The guy threw. Our opponent kind of threw there. Pretty hard, actually. What if I just do the wild boar now? No. Uh, wait, wild boar now seems pretty good, right? Nah, we can we can go further, right? We can go one deeper, baby. Yeah, that's more like it. That's more like it. He could have just used leader, dude. Wait, he didn't use the tribute? What the hell happened? What happened here? Oh, that's so good. I can just kill this now. Dude, that's so broken. Look at this! Oh! Dude, Mr. Opponent just misplayed very hard here. Unless he has Graydon, I guess, in that case. But I don't- This, this the guy doesn't play Graydon, dude. Oh, that's pretty good. That's <laughs> You know what I say to that? Goodbye board. It was good knowing you. Bye bye board. Look at the <laughs> look at the value. How big is this now? Four what? How is this only 14 now? I guess oh it, because it didn't actually damage that many units. Look at this. <laughs> All because Mr. Opponent doesn't know how to play the video game. I mean, yeah, opponent pretty much threw that one super hard. Yeah, keep boosting it up, baby. Keep boosting it up. <laughs> to be fair, that last game our opponent drew very bad. He missed Savola, first of all. Then he also mis misclicked with the horse and the professor by not dealing with my dagger. Would have would Dagger have made a difference there? Maybe not. But not having Savola, him not having Savola made more of a difference than anything realistically. So um, yeah, too many engines here. Purify could be. I mean, we don't know what this is. Five and Slave could be like a, some weird Colgrim deck. So I think I'm actually happy with this hand. Um, maybe I don't need two Dim and Light Long ships since I don't have that many pirates in my hand. Maybe I don't need any of these ships. Maybe I only need one ship. And annoy him with this one ship. I think annoying him with this one ship should be okay. Unless he, le unless he leaders it, which would be awkward, obviously. But Dude, what the fudge? Oh, come on! At least spawn in the right row, man! Ah, oh, dude. You have got to be kidding me. All right, so 10 point Volgaforts puts my dude in the wrong row. God damn it, that's so stuff. <laughs> ah, why Volgaforts? Is it? No, it's always random, right? Ah, that's so dumb. It should just be opposite. Make my life more miserable. Like the RNG on this card. I don't I don't see why there needs to be RNG on this card to be fair. See, now I could just like This is why stunning blow is good, right? Stunning Blow just feels super good here. I could also just click and Gutting Slash. Not entirely sure about that. And then he just yoinks it. I don't want to do that. I think Gutting Slash here is the perfect answer for this. We don't want to go too deep into this round. But we have a lot of playable cards here. And the fact that he's Vilgaforts. I mean, Hyper Thin? Mill? Just... A random nine provision card that deals with a unit, I guess. So like soup, like this could be like hyper duper control, you know? I'm talking Invo, Heatwave, Leo Bonhart, like the the, the complete crazy people, you know what the, what the complete crazy people do these days. All right, the power of of the blight maker. Wait, that's a bit. Of, wait, that's not fair. <laughs> wait, you can't do that. Wait, no, you can't- you hit this! Oh my god, that's so broken. Bro, what the hell? Whatever. Where are your cards? Like, 
Yeah, he's just played garbage so far. I want him. I mean, he played one good card, and that's it. I mean, I've also not played anything good. This is the only good thing I've played so far. Offering to the sea. Oh no, he's gonna get my eight back. That's actually quite rude. Eh, you know what? I think I'm fine passing here. I'm not. I'm not sure what kind of deck he's playing, to be honest. I have a feeling he's just got a bad card here in his hand and he's gonna top deck Calvit. What the hell? I think you banished the long ship, right? I think this guy, this guy is hard teched against me. I've never seen someone so hard teched against me. Without knowing it. That Vilgefortz play was stupid, by the way. What if this goes front row? Like, you just lose. Like, the round's over the moment this goes front row. You just played a 10, do nothing. But now you, you now he played a 10 deal with the with, with the dumb thing. Okay. We don't have any Seek Drifa targets. Ah, uh, don't know about this Pellar, dude. I mean, is he gonna bleed me? Eh. That does feel kind of awkward. We didn't draw as well as we hoped for. And I definitely think I need to keep gutting slashes here. The Kree is great. Morkvark also pretty good. I mean, one more gold wouldn't hurt, right? That's fine. So with the Kree for Dagger in this case, right? Five and Slay, see what you got. Okay. Oh, that's annoying. Super annoying. Mm, yeah, whatever. Guess I got not much of a choice here, really. So we also know he plays Invo and all that stuff. That's rude. Nah, sure. <laughs> Play uninteractive, whatever. Okay, I mean, he's also got a pretty whack hand here, honestly. What if I heat wave that? I don't want to heat wave that. I don't think. What if I just bounce out a great sword? Like, Defender's just gonna get invoed. Or yoinked and make my life a bit of a misery. So I'll just do this, actually. I'm gonna play for the 10 point great sword. Why you ask? Because I can. There's your answer. All right, there's bribe. Okay. And this isn't necessarily that good. Like, yeah, you can't actually use it. That's funny. Okay. Ah, I need to think here, man. I think I want to deny this damage, first of all. Oh crap, I just discarded a card. Uh, oh! Dude, <laughs> that still worked out! Oh my god, that was pure RNG, dude. Holy moly. Pure RNG, could have been anything. He could have res- I mean, realistically, both would have been fine, right? Oh, that's annoying. See, that's not what I wanted here. Alright, we just do this. Because I, I don't know what else to do here. Maybe I should have gone this first, realistically. Maybe at six he's not able. Okay, maybe at six he's very able to deal with it. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what to do here. All right, sure. Where is points? This guy's got no points. Mm, there are the points. Okay, GG. <laughs> Oh, bye bye. All right, facing inspired zeal. Could be scary. Could be good. Who knows? We'll have to find out. Okay, these are good. These are good as well. These are all pretty good. Question is, what's what's the least good? I think you are the least good. This could be useful if he's playing like this cursed scroll. That can mean some spice. 
Oh, double double boats actually very nice. So I don't I don't know what he's actually playing here though. Oh, okay, Bellahoon. Very interesting. Oh, that's annoying though for my uncrate long ship. I just realized. Wait, okay. He puts it to eight. Fascinating. So does this happen first or does our stuff happen first? I was thinking of building Bellahoon as well, but I already did Northern Realms yesterday. Maybe another day. Maybe another time. Okay. Jesus Christ. What is that? Oh my god, bro. What the f <laughs> What the Oh, what the <laughs> Are you serious? What is that swing? What is that swing? That what the f Oh my god, what is that, bro? What is that, dude? Talk about overcommitment. My god, two leader charges. What do you even do about that? Can I play around that? I can't play around this. So what the hell is this? Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that is so broken, dude. Oh, Ruffert's Vengeance is so broken, man. Wow. How many points has he just puked out, man? That's ridiculous. I have to play a card here as well. I don't know what I... I don't, what, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I probably should have hit the Bellahoon, actually, come to think of it. Oh, that's nice. That hit both of these. Okay, so he is Devotion, so no Heat Wave or such. And he didn't use Curse Scroll now, so there, there's chances that he doesn't draw, didn't draw the Siege. What the frick was that round, bro? How can they get away with a round like th If he still wins this after playing a round like this, that's completely stupid. Because, like, you can't, like, just blow out everything in one round and then expect to not be, like, punished for it. So I don't think I need the Peller at this point. Um, crate is great. Crate is completely good. Do I need two? Yeah, I do. I do still want two of these, right? Maybe I don't need this. This is a bit slow. Yeah, this is a bit slow. Okay, this is even slower. <laughs> we will take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We will take. We will have to take it. We, oh, we do draw. We did draw the wild boar. So in case he, I think if he bleeds us, like I don't think we should. We should feel too threatened about it. Yeah. Okay. So he bleeds us, and we missed our heat wave. Lovely. Okay. Uh. Could go onslaught, but I think I want to go onslaught on the battering ram rather, and I want to play crate after the bombardment resolves, and I might even have to commit Fukusia this round, which kind of feels awkward. But what you gonna do? Okay, so do this, and I bop you down. I don't like I don't like the ram here. Ram's kind of awkward. So he's gonna play a machine here, I would assume. So what if I play Fukusia now? I think that's fine, honestly. I think Fukusia is fine to play here. Like I'll trade I'll trade this Fukusia for the siege. And the longer it goes then at the point, it's gonna be worse for him. That's whatever. Alright, so... I guess I'll undoom this if, in case he does play. Oh, that's so good, the three armor- dude, armor is so good in this matchup. Look at that, more armor, baby. And now we can actually deal with you as well. A. No bombardment. Oh, that's annoying. That is slightly annoying. Come to think of it. So do I? Do I just want to kill this now? Like this is really annoying. I think this is fine. And we're winning right now. Good. 
Nine armor on the Dim and Light Longship. You'd love to see it. Wow, imagine using all your good cards in round one. <laughs> and then having, like, one good card in round two. Oh, oh, look at that. That's pretty good. I think I have to use the Wild Boar here. Come to think of it. Wild Boar... It's not going to be that great in the other rounds. Wait, what did it kill? I have no idea how that resolved just now, by the way. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Oh, that's so strong. He can kill the... The crate of the ants. All right. <laughs> Dude, Fakusia just, like, w won me that round, basically, for free, which is kind of stupid, but it is what it is, dude. Like, I don't think he's very favored in this matchup anyway, right? What does he have left? Like, Seltkirk? Like, Seltkirk isn't even that good, dude. Seltkirk isn't even that great here. Come to think of it. So, we have Crack on this... I mean, the round's not, like, super short, so we could still, like, get some value off of Offering. Morkvark's nice, especially if he plays AA, which I don't think he did this round. Oh, there you go. There you go. It's all coming together now. It's all coming together. So he doesn't have a... I mean, he only has one way to deal with this realistically, and that is Seltkirk. And I don't really care about that. Because I can just resurrect it! Yay! How great! All right, let's try this again. Ha ha! <laughs> oh, look at a cute, look at a cute Carabalist that you have, sir. Would be a shame if somebody played a dagger. All right, um, put it on five. I guess. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, gonna winch me, bro. Just winch. Oh, there's the AA. Okay. What's he gonna play? Zeal Woman? Really? Uh -huh. I would assume he still has like a winch left. Maybe I shouldn't have hit her since she's a Morkvark target. But I think this is fine. Oh, that's rude. What is his last card here? Oops. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, double clap. All right, so I, I think I misplayed a little bit there, but I think we should be fine here. Look at that, guys. It's easy. Wait, we tie? No, we don't. <laughs> I was just, I had the first second there, I thought we tied. I was like, what? No way. Me tying? No. Impossible. All right, we are facing... Oh, that's the one. That's the one game I really wanted to showcase. See how well we do against the Elven Deadeyes. I've not played this, by the way, so far, so... Well, we'll have to find out ourselves here. Okay, I, I see myself mulliganing the Harpooner a lot, but I don't know what else to do here, realistically. If I Heat Wave... Do I... Do I just... Ah, it's it's weird. It's a weird one. I would have maybe liked some damage though to to deal with. This stuff. All right. That's annoying. Hmm. All right. Two turn to kill this. That's fine though. Hmm. So that is pretty good though. Oh, I should have gone front. I don't know why I didn't go front row there. That was that play made no sense. All right, he's gonna get Ellerin out, which is slightly annoying. I think I go crate here and just get some armor on my side of the field. Oh, that's so strong, dude! The fact that it hit both of these is kind of bad and good at the same time. Cause oh, actually, that's pretty bad. Because he can transform these now. Okay, so he twives that. Not too big of an issue. I don't know why. He could have got more points there, I think. 
He didn't play a scenario, which is a bit of an issue. Alright, you know what? I'll just pass. I feel like my hand is good enough here to be able to pass. And we have Heat Wave for the scenario. And we got some good engines as well to damage some stuff. I mean, I don't think we're going to get bled. If we get bled here, the, my opponent's making a bit of a mistake. I mean, he could bleed and then try and set up his, his nonsense combo. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I think he bleeds and then sets up the nonsense combo. Okay, sure, dude. But I think we should be fine with this sort of hand. Alright, just distribute the armor here. A narrow. Oh, Vanadane, Vanadane, Vanadane. I don't like you. This is where I would love getting. Sl oh, I would love getting slash here so much, but I just don't get it. Doesn't really matter at this point, though. I think I just need to try and <laughs> cap this off here, because it gets too much value. Ouch. So you already played Heat Wave, right? Yeah, I think I do this. This is four. Yeah. All right, let's stay in it. <clears throat> Might as well. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's what I wanted to see. A full leader commit. Into like Vernaciel? Yeah, okay. No! Oh, fudge. Okay, we got a little lucky there. Also a bit stupid that it hit it this many times. So do I just go... I think I just do this now, right? Yeah, baby! Exactly by one. Let's go. <laughs> Alright. Beautiful. No! Not beautiful! What is that? So what do I get rid of here? I think I have to get rid of the right. Yeah, I just get rid of rights here. Whatever. Ah, that's unlucky. I forgot about this. I forgot about this. Okay. But I mean, he used full leader here. And he played his Vernacio. And we have like this 16 armor defender as well, by the way. Just a little side note. Okay, Decree, what does Decree give me? Decree gives me actually nothing. I would like my... Whatever. <laughs> Alright, 16 armor defender, dude. If only... Wait, what do I actually resurrect here? Man, if only I could resurrect this with Fukusia, then the card would actually be proper. Hmm. Do I even want the dagger? Like, what is he playing here? You know what? <sighs> Let's not play for dagger here. Alright. I think I just do this. Yeah, Morkvark's pretty useless here. Ow. Ash do this. Look at this defender just absorbing all the damage. Okay, so there's the Simlas. It's gonna go for four, right? And his last card here is very likely just Eisengrim, right? Alright, so. Eisengrim plays for one, two... Wait, what happened there? Alright, uh, five plus six, eleven, not enough. Is this how we get into rank numero uno? Hmm?
in de rank nummer 1. All thanks to the 15 armor defender. <laughs> yeah, 15 armor defender feels pretty good. Yeah, I don't think Isaac Grimm's enough here. And it isn't, because we also have this boat to ping him down. Get busted, man. Get busted. And let's go. Let's go, baby. Rank numero uno. We are getting to pro probably in the next 24 hours. I'll be showing you the deck I will get into pro with because there is a very spicy syndicate list that I have. I mean, it's not really that spicy. It's just a very basic congregation list that I do enjoy playing a lot. So I always like congregation. So be sure to check that out maybe tomorrow. All right. So Wild Boar of the Sea is a menacing card. Definitely menacing. But... The fact that it is 11 provisions and it's not being, you know, you're not able to play twice is a bit sad, not gonna lie. But, you know, there's there's so many things you can do with this card, like damage stuff. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just kidding. This card's pretty alright. I love its combo with dagger. But the thing you read, this card is very meta dependent and also matchup dependent because... You might have seen the one game against Nilfgaard. I'm not sure if I left it in, but I lost it, and I kind of just gave up in round three because there, there was nothing I could I could do. Because my opponent just like kind of played very few units, but the units he played were like big impact units that you can't really you know deal with if they don't if they're not swarming and stuff. Against elves, this card is obviously a lot lot better, as you might have seen. So that's definitely something to consider. Uh, only problem was that. They can they can play around this card quite nicely with Isengrim, so you do have to be careful with that. But yeah, I think I mean the card is very simple, and it's very matchup dependent. There's it's it's either gonna get you a lot of value or it's gonna get you very little value. It's a lot like Tin Boy in in that sense, but with this it's more it has more synergy within the faction with stuff like Dagger or the Bloodthirst or Great Swords. Even like you you can use this card to sort of combo with cards. Tin Boy doesn't really combo with anything within Syndicate. It's just kind of like a utility tool in certain metas. And yeah, that's why Wild Bird of the Sea is a fun card to use. But you have to be careful when you use it and in what matchups you time this correctly. Because there's certain matchups where if you go into a long round one and your opponent has a lot of units. And you're like, oh, I need this card for round three. A lot of times you don't need this card in round three because uh, the round's not going to be long enough. So you do have to be very careful. Like, this card's a good, like, win round one. Here, bitch, I'm now going to win this round one on even in the best case scenario. But, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more Gwen content, and I'll see you soon.